Hey everyone, I'm super excited to show you this Anoop Sitch or Anoop Sitch, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, dual camera uh, dash cam. It's got two Sony uh, image sensors uh, to record uh, front and back, and it's got a 3 inch OLED touch screen. Um, it's got built in Wi Fi, um, and more importantly, it's got built in GPS. And with that, you can, um, you know, have things like your speed, your location, and all of that kind of types of information will be captured on your drive. So these are things that usually come optional in a lot of uh, car dash cam kits, but it is all included with this one. It's got Wi-Fi so that you can download video onto your phone or something like that without having to take out the memory card, which is very important, I find. I already have a dash cam right now in my car, um, but I never look at the, the content because I had to take unplug the camera to take out my memory card and it's just a hassle so this is why I'm so excited to get this kit with the built-in GPS and Wi-Fi so let's take a look by the way this goes for $179.99 on Amazon there are coupons every now and then uh, to make the deal a little bit sweeter so be on the lookout for that look at that beautiful it's got the power button right here it's got the mounting hardware here, dual 1080p, 30 frames per second uh, lenses. This looks like the GPS unit right here. It says GPS, as you can see. Here's what it looks like. So you can remove it if you like. Some people don't like to have GPS information because they feel like it's evidence. But you can remove it and it would look like that. But I'm going to leave it in there because that's one of the main features of this camera, I mean this uh, dash cam. And it also has a cigarette light adapter, which is nice and portable, which is which I really like. It's got a very in-depth user manual in multiple languages. So I see a lot of questions on Amazon about how to mount this onto your windshield. I mean, yes, you can peel this and tape this directly onto your windshield, but what happens when you wanna take this dash cam off? then it might leave some marks on your windshield and you don't want to do that probably. But you stick this on and then you peel this off and you stick it onto this so that it's nice and easy. Um, you know, when you need to, when it comes time to remove it, you just peel the whole electrostatic thing uh, film off and off comes uh, your dash cam as well. So you may want to cut it a little bit as well to make sure um, it doesn't get in the view of this though. I've, I've just plugged in the power and you can see wow this screen is super clear oh my gosh I've, this screen is beautiful I, like I said I have another dash cam and the display is a lot smaller and the detail in this is like insane this is like my I want to say it but I don't want to say it but it looks like my new iPhone screen it's so clear I gotta go format an SD card to put it in here but wow I am super impressed Okay, so what do I like about this uh, dash cam? Well, first thing is first, I love the OLED display. It is super crisp, very clear. It looks like an HD TV, as if I'm watching a movie at home on blue with Blu-ray. It's that clear. Um, and it, even though I'm all the way on the driver's side here, I have my dash cam on the right side in front of the passenger, yet it still captures me in my natural seating position, which is great. Um, and as you can see in the video, it captures the entire cabin pretty clearly, despite, well, it's kind of low light, right? I don't know, I can't tell I have sunglasses on, but I can clearly see the cabin uh, if, and any passengers that would be sitting like behind me as well, like behind me as well, pretty clearly. The dual cams are, are great. Like I said, the two Sony sensors, um, and they, they're kind of wide angle, as you can tell. That's why you can see me. And I expect the same for uh, what we're looking at up front and you can see all kinds of like crazy people doing stuff and sometimes it's good to have that 
evidence, that video to show that there are stupid people out there causing problems and it's not your fault. So hopefully you don't need it, but it's good to have that peace of mind. Um, attaching this was super easy. Like I said, I used that electrostatic film. I put it on my windshield and then I stuck my, uh, my dash cam onto that. So if I ever need to move this, I just take that electrostatic film off and put it into a new car. So it is reusable and it does come with two sheets and you don't need the, you don't even need the full sheet um, so that was pretty cool uh, something exciting you know something different uh, versus a suction cup uh, which could like uh, fall over uh, over time maybe uh, so far I haven't had any problems with this and it comes with everything you need like in terms of a power cable um, even a tool for you to route the wiring around the A-pillar and all that stuff so I'm pretty satisfied. Um, definitely check this out on Amazon, guys. Uh, there is a coupon right now to make the price a little bit better. Um, but no complaints. And I also tried the Wi-Fi transfer of video files. And, you know, I moved the file pretty quickly through Wi-Fi. All you got to do is download the app on your phone and then uh, connect to the Dashcam's Wi-Fi. And then you can start seeing, you know, a live view of what the Dashcam sees, uh, as well as the content that's stored on the memory card. And then you can just pick and choose which ones you want to download. And, and it's pretty quick. Uh, no problems at all. Uh, if you have a lot of content, I would recommend that you take this SD card out and, and put a card reader on your computer and download it that way. Um, speaking of uh, downloading content, uh, there are two cameras. So uh, all the files are dated. Uh, the file names are dated uh, and timestamped with, uh, um, with the suffix of A and B. So A for like... Uh, uh, one camera and B for the other camera so that you know you can distinguish the two but it saves uh, to two different files which is pretty cool oh I also like the fact that it shows your miles per hour on the bottom in your GPS location uh, like I said this is something that you usually have to pay for from other dash cam uh, providers so I like that the little device is included and you can also remove it if you want so uh, that was a great addition and it picks up GPS signal pretty quickly as well. There was nothing to set up or anything. It just does it on its own. All right, that, that's all I have to say about it. That shim's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks.